In this baritone tutorial, I'm gonna teach you the seven most important finger picking patterns for the baritone. If you're up for it, if you can handle it, let's go. All right, welcome to You Like The Pros. I'm Terry Carter. And uh, this is gonna be the seven. Matter of fact, I probably will throw a bonus one in for you at the end, but we'll call it the seven most important finger picking patterns for the baritone ukulele. And there's a very good reason why I'm doing this video. I'm gonna tell you that in a second, but first, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification. And then throughout this video, if you dig something I say, you agree or disagree with something, make sure to smash that like button and then leave a comment below. All right, I have a brand new course, brand new course, the Baritone, beginning Baritone finger style course. This is actually an amazing course. If you like finger picking, if you wanna get into finger picking, finger style, whatever you wanna call it, this is a course for you. It's a beginner course, so if you no experience at all, this is a great course for you. We'll put a link of that below, but, Here's what I'm doing. I'm opening it up. I'm op full transparency. That's a, the hot word these days, full transparency. I'm actually gonna show you the seven finger picking patterns that we do in that course. I'm actually gonna show them to you. Now, when you get to the course, there's full songs I've written. There's warm ups. there's backing tracks. There's a lot more to it, but I'm actually gonna show you those picking patterns because they're that important and I want you to know them. So if you're, uh, if you're up for it, <laughs> are you up for it? I hope you're up for it. Let's dive in to these finger picking patterns right now. Before I show you the first picking pattern, we're gonna do one thing. Instead of just showing you the patterns on one chord and then setting you off on your way, that's not gonna do you anything. I actually came up with this really cool thing. All we're gonna do is we're gonna do a descending G major scale. I know you can do this. And what it's gonna do is make these patterns that I'm gonna show you today just a little bit more exciting. So follow me here. All you're gonna do is this. We're gonna walk it right down. So first string, third fret, then the second fret, then open, next string up, three, one, then open second string, then third string, second fret, and then open G string. That's it, and then all that is is the G major scale, but going backwards. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, D, G. And we're gonna do that with each pattern, that way you have feel like you have a little song that you're playing with. All right, by the way, all of these, I'm, I'm, my team really know I'm doing this right now. If you want these picking patterns on a PDF, I'm gonna give them to you. We'll put a link below that you can just go sign up and get that, <laughs> just, just for you guys, all right? Are you ready? Let's go ahead now and dive into finger picking pattern number one. This one is called P and I. P and I, P and I, so what's that? P is your thumb, I is your index finger, and that's it. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna be right here, grab your uh, first, string third fret, and your thumb's gonna be on the open third string, and your index finger's gonna be on the first string, and just gonna literally go back and forth like this. Thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index. Now, you wanna get this down. For sure you wanna get this. Matter of fact, you could actually do it with your other fingers as well, just to kind of build that dexterity up in your fingers. Thumb middle, if you wanted to as well. You could even do the thumb and ring finger. Okay, but we're not gonna do that. Today, we're just gonna do the thumb and index and check out, this is all we're gonna do. And walk it down the G scale. That's it, you ready? Come on, let's do this with me. One, two, and three, and four, and. And right there on that open third string. All right, just like what we see here, the chorus has all this stuff. Everything's on the screen. You have the moving cursors. I give you everything you need to really succeed and become a great finger style picker. All right, how did you do on that one? Leave a comment below how you're doing. Don't forget this course, this beginning baritone finger style courses, this is gonna take the stuff to a whole new level. And then at some point when you get through it, you're gonna be able to apply these patterns to 
your favorite song. Pattern number two, by the way, you digging this video, make sure to smash that like button. Pattern number two is gonna be this, thumb, index, and middle. Your thumb's gonna be on the third string, your index on the second, and your middle on the first. Now this is gonna be in three, four time. We're gonna do each one of these patterns too. Remember, we're still gonna do that descending G major scale. So it's gonna go two and three and one and two and three and. All right, you ready? Let's do the whole pattern right now. One and two and three and. How did you do on pattern number two? Leave a comment below on this one. But we're gonna continue. We're gonna move on now. The pattern number three is gonna be like this. All right, did you notice it's still on three, four time and I'm doing the same fingers, the thumb, the index, and the middle on strings three, two, one, but I'm reversing it so it's gonna go middle, index, thumb. Middle, index, thumb. We're gonna play each note two times. That's called a backward roll, okay? so. Are you ready? Let's just go ahead and jump into it. Here we go. One and two and three and one. All right, so that was pattern three, the backward roll. Don't forget, if you want to see these patterns like on a PDF that you can look at. We're going to put a link for free for that, by the way, totally for free. My team's going to kill me for that, but I'm going to give it to you. And then again, all of these patterns are part of that beginning baritone fingerstyle course. And that's going to take these patterns we're learning and then apply them to songs, stuff that I wrote especially for you to really bring them all together. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's do pattern number four. All right, so this pattern, number four, is called the P-I-M-I. -I. So thumb, index, middle, and back to the index again. Um, by the way, I'm playing my Kanalea baritone. These things are amazing. If you're digging this or need a baritone, make sure to check out my store, the number one store, which is store.youcollectthepros.com. All right, go back to your same chord. Notice we're keeping it all the same here. Make it easy for you, but the pattern now is gonna go thumb on the third string, index on the second, middle on the first, and then back to the second string with the index. So it's P, I, M, I, the next chord or next note, and then you're gonna go down. All right, the P, what is that? P me, the P me pattern, all right, let's do it, here we go. By the way, we're back to four, four time on this one. Here we go, one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, there you go. Number four, leave that comment below how you're doing so far. These are really, really important patterns to get down. Make sure you take a little time and make sure you get them down in your quiver of finger picking patterns here. All right, number five, check this one out. Now this pattern is gonna use the thumb. So we're gonna give the index, the middle, the ring finger a break on this one. And the thumb is a totally legit finger to use for this pattern. Now, we're gonna incorporate the fourth string on this one. And when you're when you're playing like the first one, you're gonna strum all four strings twice, move it down, then open. But now what's gonna happen is when your fingers move to a different string, you're gonna follow that for the thumb. So when you do the second string, third fret, you're gonna only strum strings four, three and two. And then when you move here, only strum string, strings four and three. And then the last one is just open, open <laughs> right there, just like that. All right, are you ready? Do this with me. One, two, three, and. Pattern number five. 
pattern number six. We're almost there. Just got a couple more. How are you doing so far? Make sure to leave that comment below. This next pattern, we're going to call the Pima pattern. P-I-M-A. This is probably one of the most important, the most important picking pattern you need. All right, on this one, we're just going to go this. So we're going to go back. Your thumb is going to be on the fourth string here. Index on the third. Middle on the second. And then your ring finger on the first string. You're going to play each note just one time. So one time through the pattern. It's just going to go one, two, and. All right, you ready to do this with me? Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and. Did you notice on that last one, I just hit the open third string for that G note. All right, six patterns so far. Don't forget, this is all part of the beginning baritone fingerstyle course. We'll put a link below. Come, if you're digging this, if you want to get better at fingerstyle, you got to do it, but you got to take the course because this is just a nice warm up and I'm showing you the patterns. But once you dive into the course and I give you these songs that I wrote for it, that's where you're really going to see some great growth in your finger picking pattern. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Now, number seven. Now, I'm going to throw a little bonus in here. I'm actually going to throw an extra one. These next two are called pinches. So here's the first pinch. All right, so this pinch is going to be thumb first, and then you're going to pinch with your index and your middle together. So the thumb's going to be on the third string. You're going to hit that first. Go back to your, your first chord as always. Then you're going to pinch strings two and one together. Like that. So it's going to go thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch. All right. So let's go ahead and put it now on that G major scale. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. And... Now, you know I'm going to over deliver here. That would actually be technically number seven and the video would stop there. But I'm going to throw one more pinch in for you because this is a really important one to know. So go back to your first chord here. This time we're going to pinch the thumb in the middle together like this and then index. All right, so all you're going to do is going to pinch thumb and middle together. Boom. Oh, first chord. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. And then your index finger is going to hit the second string. Then pinch again. And then second string. And then go down the next note. And then next note. All right, and we're going to do that going down is a same pattern. This is the bonus one right here. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and... All right, there's your seven most, nope, your eight <laughs> most important finger picking patterns for the baritone. How did you like it? Leave a comment below, smash that like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget, ukelectepros.com. That's the place to check out this finger picking, finger style, whatever course that you want. We also got other baritone stuff and ukulele stuff as well. The store, if you're interested in a new baritone or any ukulele accessories. And then if you want to find us on sh social, at Instagram, uh, at Uclect the Pros on Instagram. And then also you can find us on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Pros. All right, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of it. And I look forward to you checking out that beginning baritone fingerstyle course over at Pros.com.